All right, good morning once again, and um, it's good to be back. It feels good to be back on a Friday. Thank God it's Friday. My name is Dakwa Banjo. Welcome to Crossfire with Dakwa Anishama. Anishama is unavoidably absent again today. Um, anyway, you know, she's busy. She's a lawyer. She has to do a lot of things and all of that. I even thought that she would still be able to make it, but she's not here. Um, it's a very uh, fantastic, fantastic package that we have for you today. And all I just want us to do is to stay positioned and stay tuned, you know, to the package that we have today. We'll be talking and addressing uh, the subject of restructuring in Nigeria. Is that the way to go? What is the much ado about restructuring in Nigeria? Some people said restructuring has been taking place when we were 12 states, when we were 17 states, when we were 19 states, we became 21 states. Now we are 36 states plus the federal capital, making 37. And so that the restructuring has always, always been a part of our system. And so why does so much agitation and talk about restructuring in Nigeria now? What exactly are people talking about when we talk about restructuring Nigeria. Once again, good morning and thanks for staying with us. Before we go into talking about that, I will quickly take you through stories making headlines. The executive order signed to support uh, voluntary asset income declaration scheme. Acting President Yemi Osibadio has signed an executive order uh, to support the voluntary asset income declaration scheme. Uh, Professor Oshimba just signed the executive order yesterday. What is this about? The acting president, who said the scheme is targeted at increasing tax awareness and compliance, added that it will also grant taxpayers a time-limited opportunity to regularize their tax status without penalty. Minister says YAM exportations to trigger increased income and promote new jobs. Now, the Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Audu Ogbe, says the I mean, the success of the Nigerian YAM export program is expected to trigger increased income, enhance standard of living, and promote job creation. Now, Ogbe said this yesterday in Lagos, while flagging off the Nigerian YAM export organized by the Technical Committee of Nigerian YAM Exports and the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development. Will this lead to YAM shortage in Nigeria? Anyway, we'll see about that. President Jack Jett Packed at London Airport is not costing government £5,000 a day. Now, a spokesperson for the president uh, has confirmed that the president jet has parked at the London Airport uh, for more than seven weeks. Now, however, it denied that it is costing the government £5,000 a day. Speaking to the BBC, Gabba Shehu said it is normal practice that leaders are not left stranded in foreign lands, adding that there must be a plan for an immediate return. Now, subjected billionaire kidnapper filed 300 million Naira suit against police for alleged illegal detention. It is only in Nigeria that I see this. We'll bring you more story about some of these um, issues when we come back from our first commercial break. But before we do that, I'd like you to meet my guest on the show today. I have Barrister uh, Justice in the studio with me, and uh, we'll be talking about restructuring in Nigeria. And this is a very passionate speaker. He's a public analyst, he's, he's a political analyst, and a social commentator, and uh, we'll be talking very much in detail. Then I have my second guest on the show is one of our regulars. Every time when we have art issues, we bring him in to come and lend us, you know, his thoughts on some of these issues. Um, he's no other person but a political analyst, too, and a social commentator. His name is Avanave. Avan, good to have you on Crossfire this morning. Good morning, Dr. All right, we'll quickly go on a short break. When we come back, we'll be focusing and narrowing down on the topic for today. Stay with us. We'll be right back after now. Issues. All right, we're back, and thanks for staying with us. My name is Dr. Banjo. I have my guest in the studio. I will be talking about... A very sensitive topic. It's, it's really blowing hot. Nigerians are beginning to wonder which way forward. How do we go about having the Nigeria of our dream? How do we go about um, really achieving those things that we thought about and then we bring them into physical manifestation? How do we eventually um, have a nation that is encompassing? where everybody, where there's no ethnic divide, where there's no religious differences, where each and every one of us relate with one another as Nigerian, and we put the country first, 
The country comes first before your religion, before your ethnicity, I mean, before your culture, before your tradition, before everything that you believe in. How do we come about a Nigeria like that? I mean, to, for a very long time, we have been living in peace and in harmony. If you read the Nigerian Pledge, if you go through the Nigerian National Anthem, before now, we have Nigeria, we held the our own native land. Though tribe and tongue may differ, but in brotherhood we stand. That is the Nigeria that I grew up in. But today, the Hausa people are saying something, the Igbo people are saying something, the Yoruba people are saying something. We are all divided across our ethnicity. And we are all divided even be, way beyond that. And we are wondering what exactly is the problem with this entity called Nigeria. And this polity will survive all of this crisis. That is our prayer, that's our trust, that's our belief. And um, the gentleman in the studio will be helping to, to just um, enlighten and educate Nigerians on their thoughts, speaking from their point of opinion, really and truly. And um, I definitely will be anchoring and, and try as much as possible to see if I can learn one or two things, in addition to a couple of things that are picked over time. Now, I have... Have an Ave in the studio, and I have Barrister Justice in the studio uh, at the same time. Gentlemen, which way forward? Nigeria is going through a period in our, in our you know, in our, uh, like I borrow from uh, Professor Chris uh, and Wokobia, in our collective, you know, patrimony. Yeah. We are going through a period of time where we need to do everything possible to make sure that the entity called Nigeria remains one. We need to hold strong the fabric of whatever, uh, um, you know, what, whatever is keeping us together as a nation. And if we are going to have to do something, let's do it together as one people. Let's do it together as one nation. Let's do it together as, as you know, as an entity. Because together we stand and divided we fall. So when we talk about restructuring, sometimes a lot of people have you know, different opinion about the concept of restructuring. So, but first of all, let me take your thoughts. Now, Avan, what is restructuring to you? We've been talking about, there's a lot of platform, you know, discussing about the concept of restructuring in Nigeria, that that's the way forward. But when we talk about restructuring in Nigeria, what's your take? What exactly are we talking <coughs> about? Uh, let me start by trying to explain your first question. So what is restructuring? Mm -hmm. By the common definition of restructuring, <coughs> excuse me, restructuring entails reorganization. You understand? Hmm. Altering the structure, perhaps for better uh, productivity or coexistence at the stake, or as, growth. as the case may, may be, for better growth, yes. You see, restructuring is not new to Nigeria. <coughs> Over the years, since the, big, since the inception, Nigeria have been undergoing restructuring. Okay. We didn't just wake up to become 30, 36 states. Perhaps some persons are afraid of restructuring because they just think restructuring is, is all about, I mean, demarcating more states or delineating states or creating more states. That is a part of it. You understand? People will continue to agitate for restructuring until such a balance or equilibrium is, is, is achieved, hmm. where the agitation will be less. You understand? Because since the amalgamation, immediately after uh, independence, Midwestern region was carved out from the former uh, Western region. That was in 1963. You understand? Yeah. And the, the, the agitation continued. In 1967, the, the, the region, the, the four regions were collapsed and 12 uh, uh, states came up. You understand? Yeah. Barely 10, 10, 19 years after that, in 1976, we had 19 states. You understand that? Yes. So, but what did that make from that 19 to 21 in 1978? Then in 1991, he added an additional nine states within a space of how many, how many years? Just 10 years. Then in 19... Uh, uh, 96, Abacha came and added six, making 36 states. So, since that 96 and now, how many years? So, the agitation have been brewing. So, you could, it be, so could it be it, that it, people it, are agitating for of course, more yes. state creation? Even, even the next day after creating more state, people, the agitation is still there. 
the agitation has been on, okay. but the agitation has, it has almost reached its boiling point, so to speak. And if the government or people in authority want to see hold on, a time might come where events would have over, over, overcome the need for restructuring. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it is better to engage interest, to engage people that are agita agitating for restructuring. Let the restructuring be holistic enough to accommodate various interests. You understand? Because if you hold on and say you, 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 you want to make restructuring somehow impossible, you are making violent uh, uh, um, agitation and cessation uh, inevitable. But back in the day during the military era, when the creation of states became very imminent, yeah. per adventure for ease of management, yeah. or, uh, or probably a form of empowerment to the, to the people of, of those states, to have a smaller, yeah. a smaller unit yeah. called state yeah. that is controllable, <clears throat> manageable, and and um, you, you know and and then we divided further to creating more states. Yeah. Now, now the, the the challenge that I have is that there were no we didn't go through it this way. Could it be because it was done in the it military? It was not in the democratic democratic era. Exactly. The military most of the time, some of them just they created most I mean some states as we, a result of we their, per, of their, the their that... personal convenience. Okay, you understand. They don't wake up and say, okay, we want to create states. Let people bring in a proposal and uh, what, what, what have you. They, just, they, they choose which of the state to, to create. You understand? But this okay. is the first time that in, during a democratic setting that the government needs to democratically engage the various agitators. You understand? And make sure, I mean, I mean try as much as possible to, to satisfy the agitation. So okay. that the, 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 it, it, even it if it get is to not the in our collective, point before, before. even if it is not in our collective interest, let, let it, me take let me take comment from um, um, Justice. Um, it, it's good to, to to understand from the perspective of um, Avan. Um, you know, it's um, it, it's very strong o opinion about what the agitators are asking for. What, what's your opinion, uh, Justice? Well, you see, <clears throat> let us uh, at this point in time get one thing right and straight. In the first place, we should ask ourselves this question. Why this issue of restructuring, restructuring, restructuring now? The government as it is today, the administration as it is today, try to push themselves to the corner. Okay. Leadership or governance is not all about winning an election. Mm. And that's why I keep on telling people, to be a leader is quite different from going to the pool. It is what you have in you that makes you a leader, and not the result of the pool. Today, we are seeing it. You see, the government came in, or before they came in, they gave Nigerians the impression that they are the best, that the moment they get into power, Nigeria is going to be <laughs> extraordinarily <laughs> wonderful. Okay. And unfortunately, they got disappointed. Why? Because I believe that a person cannot give what he does not have. The issue is that do they have what they had agitated for all this while? And the answer is showing that it no. Now, restructuring, what is restructuring? To amend, to improve, to renovate. When you say you want to renovate, that means you want to improve, you want to add. From good to better, from better to best. But unfortunately today, we are even going down the drain where we were before. And that is why you see all these problems today. Because remember, this is a government that promised Nigerians heaven and earth. Also promised restructuring. Also promised a whole lot of things. Let me give you an example. When, before the government came into, into being, they were against duplicity of functions in the Federal Executive Council. Mm -hmm. But immediately they came, they told the same line. Today, the same thing is happening. But remember that, period to this time, there has been agitation that, is Nigeria actually practicing a federal system of government or not? Now, that's one, that, that's I, I'm one of coming. Okay. I'm coming. That is our major issue today. And when you are coming up and you promise Nigerians, all those things that have been your fear, 
All those things you have been complaining all this while, we are going to look into it and we are going to do it. And now you came in, you're not doing it. Rather, you're not doing it in the opposite side. What do you expect the people to do? When you say opposite side, how do you mean? Yes. Doing something totally contrary, contrary doing, doing to what they promised. To, to what you promised. Okay. Because today, the same people that thought about restructuring are also afraid of restructuring. And the question is why? Why are you afraid of restructuring? You think the APC government, uh, the APC-led government is afraid, I said they are afraid of, of restructuring? I said they are afraid of... I don't know what they understand by the word restructuring. But restructuring encompasses so many things. And when we talk about restructuring, let's, not, let's understand two major areas. Political restructuring and economic restructuring. These okay. are the issues, the two major issues that can lead any country forward. Today, two years and has gone. Nigerians have not seen anything. That's why you see all these agitations coming up here and there. Now, but the, the issue as it is today yeah. should be, where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? Are we moving forward or are we going backward? Okay. Everything in the country today seems to be standstill for one reason or the other. Now, we are having restructuring in mind. Since the exception of this government, there have not been cohesion between the three arms of government. And the people are the people suffering it. Okay. Because when two elephants fight, it's the grasses that suffer. Nigerians are the ones suffering it. When they talked about restructuring, when they talked about the issue of tightening your belt, resection, I had expected all of them to do one thing. Withdraw all the allowances from the executive of this in all phase of the country. Okay. The legislators and all the rest. But they're still collecting the allowances. That, that, that will not happen. That is. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I, I, no, no, no I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. I'm not saying if it will we, not happen. If, you don't understand. Yeah, no, no, that yeah, we, 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 to learn trillion. How does okay, that they they translate? How much? Listen to me. Listen to me. How much is their salaries and allowances put together? Listen to me. Compared compared to the the allowances are more than the salary. No, compared to the size of what of of the economic challenges that this country is going to... No, 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 no. no. Left, if you, what I mean, if you're what, talking that, if you're yeah. that way, that's today, what is, the, what is the, uh, the, the minimum wage of, of, of a civil servant? The take-home minimum wage of a civil it's servant? 18,000 naira. Is, is that not what, funny? No, no, what, what, is that not funny? What can you do? Uh, no, what, what can you do? What, no, no, what I'm no, saying... No, what I'm trying to say is this, yes. eh? Uh -huh. When you say tighten your belt that we are on resection, Start from yourself. The Bible says that the judgment of God will start from the church. Start from yourself. Start from your cabinet. And don't push it to, to the masses. Why must the masses be made to pay for the e, 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 how do I put, e, e, irregularity of government every time? Hey, but, 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 that, but, but what has what has changed during the why are you putting the responsibility on the APC led government? Definitely. It has always been like that. No, 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 it, it has it, always it, it been has like that. Been. Let me tell you one thing. It has Excuse always me. been Excuse like me. that. No, 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 no. The masses have when, always had to suffer. You see, you see, that is the problem we have in this now, country. Excuse me. Say, if, that's the problem no, we have in this country. We are not you are not bringing APC government to it. Oh, yeah, I mean because that's the government until we start power. until we stop playing party politics when Jonathan led administration PDP was in power some of us also attacked them how come of the so PDP many... government didn't restructure Nigeria in 16 years why is so much agitation during the APC led government? If you because that, because that, 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 that is, that is not the issue. If they fail to restructure, APC, APC this government, government now APC said they are going to restructure. During the, during the election, electionary campaign, yes. they, thank, they thank go restructuring and all sorts of juicy promises on, 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 at Nigerians. You understand? And so, even, even when some of you say these things are not real, because the, 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 the leaders now, they don't even know where, what they are going into. Yeah, but, see, but the see, APC, see, the APC government have, was now that okay. we have some prominent Nigerians buying into the idea of restructuring. You understand? Yeah. Restructuring is not just cutting more state out of the existing state. If no, IBB actually saw creation of state, saw you know, creation of yes. state as part of restructuring, IBB, or what the people are actually agitating for, it created states. IBB, How come during IBB the military era, it was 11, not done? Eleven more states. <laughs> we had eleven, two and. And nine. and nine, yes. You understand me? Now, what we are talking about, what yeah. some of us, are, what, 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 what is aching our mind is now the people are agitating. People are crying. They are yearning for. They are asking, 
They are the only people asking because they, they, they just feel like asking. You promised them that you would do this. No, but what the before APC they, government before promised... They gave you, because they gave the you the APC mandate. Let me, let me, you understand? So, what the APC no, so, government promised... Just like they have been doing the last two years, relating okay. on their promises. You understand? So this one is one promise I think they cannot renege on. Why? They will not. They can. Because Why? if they do it... it what what they right promise at, Nigerian... Is, yes, is actually a, 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 what 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 I I can call cognitive restructuring. Do you know change of you mindset? Know that, do you know that how you Niger see Nigeria? Do you, do you, Asking no, yourself no, 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 this no. question. That what was, yeah. do, you, do you know that the type of government or this, or the structure we, we operate defies the, the redefinition of federa federa federalism? Also defies the definition of unity. Okay, so government. let's talk about now, what is true federalism. We, we only have been what, what exactly is true federalism. Contrived system of federalism. I don't think so. I don't now, think so. When you define federalism or any other uh, concept for that yeah. matter, okay, you you immediately use a shiny example of that concept to de to define. To define, yes. Look at the United States of America. The, 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 it's, it's a true federal state. You understand? But I believe that what befit Nigeria no, what, is what, a confederation. What, what makes it, what what makes it a, a, a federal state? You have, you have laws from the central, and you have a form of separation of power completely from the states. What law obtains in Lagos today? Hold on. For example, let's cite an example. Kidnappers receive capital punishment in Lagos when you are caught here. And in Ondo State, or in Oshu State, maybe they don't even know. Maybe it's just one year imprisonment. But Lagos State came up with a law, enacted it, and passed it, and said, if you are a kidnapper and you are caught in Lagos State, it's death penalty. Now, that is a level of autonomy. Even if government does not believe in capital punishment, Lagos State is saying, in our state, that is true federalism. You see what I'm talking that about? Is a, that is, that, that is a part uh, of it, um, but it is know. not enough. Oh, see, okay. if, you, if you look at the, the Constitution of Nigeria, how the issues to be handled in, at the federal level, Yes, that is the exclusive list, you know, of, of, the, of, uh, of uh, 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 responsibility, then yes. the concurrent list and the residual list. So the ones on the exclusive list, which is at the exclusive purview of the federal government, yes. is overwhelming. You understand? No, but, the, the, but for, that for one, instance, for instance, security, about heads, security when you talk about rights and pro property head, head is the be, first on the list. Heads should be, heads should, no, the executive no, responsibility se security is should the be yes. security, especially yes. security against external exactly. uh, aggression, should yes. be the responsibility of the federal government. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. But you cannot tell me the, the, the remote villages, the, the, the Nigeria is too large and complex. How, how can for, you say that? For, for California, one, for one California, California, is, don't worry. California, California is, is bigger. Is is let me come in here. California has, has, so has its own police. I, I think we are, we California are is almost see, a, a country in the US. We have even been one section. You understand? The state that made up the US, they are almost a nation of themselves because of that devolution of power. They have powers in policy, security, health, education. You understand me? So you cannot tell me primary education is, is the responsibility of federal government. Let's, 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 the let's, federal government doesn't even know how how uh, this education is being is being administered in the, 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 the local government. Okay. So we you, need you more are, power to be devolved to the state not, and local government. Not, right, let me hear from not that we need more powers. Okay. The issue is this: when you talk about federating units, where yes. does it connote? That uh, should exa be the issue. Uh, okay. So let's now, uh, when stakes. Are meant to depend on the federal mm. government alone. Yes. In that federation. No. Okay. Then what? What then are you saying about? that? No. What then are you saying that because Lagos <laughs> State has powers to make law? I'm saying and, that. It must not be absolute. I want to very listen to me. Okay. I want you to get it right. Let I'm us listening. educate the the, the, the the our listeners okay. out, outside there. Now, the federal government collects everything in the country, mm. gives and, and to the states. Gives to the local government. Remember, before 2000 and before 1999, accounts, local governments' uh, allocation goes straight to local governments. But from 1999, the governors came with a kangaroo gang up against the local governments. And now, what they now do, they get their own state allocation, get the hijack the local government allocation, and now give them peanuts. To pay salaries alone, mm. is that a federation? And 23, 23 states are still holding now, wait, is local that, government is that salaries. A federation? What we are saying is this: Let all the states have the powers 
and rise to generate its own revenues. Is that and, not happening? And give to the and give to the center. Is that not it is, happening? It is not happening. Internally listen generated to, listen, revenue. Listen, aside from the fact listen, that listen to me, listen okay. to me. Today, the states are not empowered to deal on crude mm -hmm. and so many other things. Okay. That is the basic and major source of everything of, of below income. the land. Everything okay. below that's the what land. That's what I'm trying to say. Belongs to the that, federal that, government. That's what I'm trying above to say. Above the land. Such it belongs the, to the see, state you, government. You see what we're practicing? Uh, yes. You see what we're practicing? Yes. You, like I keep on saying, people talk about democracy, democracy. We're not practicing democracy yet. Okay. What I see us practicing is what I call quasi-democracy. Okay. That is what I see us practice. A, a democratic setup where somebody will be taken to a court of competent jurisdiction and the court will grant bail and the executive will use his own power to say no. And you said it is democracy, you said it's a federation. What are we talking? Let me tell you one thing why all these problems are noise now. Okay. What was the slogan of APC? Change. And they have changed. And that was the reason. <laughs> Remember, but the problem Nigerians had. They never bother to know the kind of change. Mm. Because there are two things in life, good or bad, bad. life or dead. They never tried to know whether the change was to be for good. But Nigerians thought in their mind and could know that it was going to be an improvement of what was, was on the ground before. Mm. That was why you see so many people follow that trend, change. But all that glitters is not good. Where is the change now? Hmm. The situation we have today, is it what we have today? As at three years ago, dollar was 160, 165. We were still complaining. Okay. Today, dollar fluctuates. It has, it has not been less than 300. For a very long time. For a very long time. As at today, I think it's about 370. At the time, it got to 400 and something to 500. And we were clapping hands. When can we tell Nigerians the truth in this country? All and right. you know my problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would hear that. I would hear that you will continue talking to Nigerians when we come back from this short break. Stay with us. We'll be right back after now. All right. We are back and it's still crossfire with Dakwa and Ishoma. Um, Ishoma is not here. Don't forget. Uh, but um, she will be around. I mean, she's just busy somewhere. We've been talking about uh, national matters, and um, the concern this morning is that we've been talking about um, the restructuring of Nigeria. Is that the way forward? And when we talk about restructuring, what exactly do we mean? Now, before we went on that break, we have heard thoughts and opinion from our guests in the studio. I have Barrister Justice in the studio, and I have, have an Ave, and we've been discussing about, um, you know, restructuring Nigeria. Now, are we saying... This country only gets better when we restructure. Barrister Justice, I'm asking, oh, uh, okay. oh, hold on for me, I have an yes. okay. uh, yeah. it, it will get better only when we improve. Let's even remove the name restructuring, because if it is what is causing problem, right. okay. let's use improvement. Okay. Rousseau, one of our legal jurists, said that the law is to harmonize with the society. By implication, is to harmonize, is to improve, is to advance. You don't count one and go back to count zero. No. You count one and two and three. What we call a lot of geometric progression. But what we're experiencing today is diminishing returns. So how do you expect Nigerians to be happy? Somebody that is eating three square meal a day before can no longer afford one square meal a day. That's just a formula change. No. Oh, okay. Policies. Oh, I see. Policies, whether we like it or not. And that was why Lincoln said that if you don't want to be part of politics, you end up being ruled by fools. Because that thing you feel you are. Somebody who is senseless will enter government one day and use one stupid policy and crash everything down. And it will affect everybody. The policies is affecting everything today in the country. That's why nothing seems to be happening. That's why investors are no longer coming. And nothing more. You ask yourself a question. Nigerians were expecting to have, by now, improved from what we had before. OK. That is the essence of change. Okay. That is now, the essence now, of now, restructuring. Now, now, let's open this up. 
which areas, let's begin to just itemize, yeah. which areas, well, well, okay, let's assume that this government eventually embraced restructuring. Yeah. And they said, okay, restructuring, I mean, Nigeria, we have to be restructured and we have to go, you know, maybe we, uh, on the way of a referendum. Okay. Having, having um, you know, everybody fully represented mm -hmm. and then capturing everybody's interest and saying, okay, go in for what these are the things we're going to do. Now, what, which areas of, in Nigeria, especially, uh, let's look at the, the, the various compartments, yeah. uh, our economy, let's look at policies, let's look at, um, let's look at, Almost all the other aspects of the Nigerian economy, uh, education, uh, education, health, uh, and, you know, everything encompassing, looking at Nigeria as an entity, where do we start from? Avan? Before I go to where areas for that is yearning and calling for restructuring, yes. let me try as much as possible to, to, to think the mind of those that are afraid of restructuring. Why are they afraid? Okay. Some of them are afraid because they, they feel some region or some states cannot survive when they, there is fiscal federalism. By implication, whereby each state generates will generate their, yeah. their resources and pay loyalty, loyalty to, to the, federal the federal government. There is no state in Nigeria that is not blessed naturally. Our problem is continuity, consistency of policy. When one government comes, this, it, it will sit on every other policy that the, the previous government, you know, sit on it and, and, and restart its own. That is the problem. There's no state that ultimately cannot sustain herself in this country. All the state has mineral resources. Solid minerals abound in Nigeria. Agriculture is, is, is a booming a business all over the world. Why are we so lazy? and feel relaxed for this oil that is almost getting dried. Shall we wait until the oil gets dried? We should do something for our own our bon generation and make this state viable. There should be consistency of policy in government. When you remove this, 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 this dependence on federal government, the state will sit, sit back and reason and think outside the box. How, do, how would this state survive without oil, without that Reliance on federal government. Every state will survive. And you don't think, Le uh, and you don't think, uh, you don't so, think that levies, taxes will will be. I mean, will, 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 will I mean that the people, mm. the citizens okay. of the states, okay. at least people mm. who are resident in the mm. state, state, will not be overburdened by levies and, and taxes. Let me tell you, levies and taxes. I because that's what constitutes it's, it's, the internally it's a generated revenue. Yeah. Government all over the world exists on transition. When government create the enabling environment for people to come and business to flourish, even if it's one one cowboy you are collecting from them, you make a lot of money. Mm. That is the issue. Where there is security and government, I mean business flourishes, people will come. There is opportunities in Nigeria for, for, for external business, business investors to come in all the states. They should let all the states come down and do a very comprehensive study about their opportunities, their strengths. You understand? Yeah. So the, 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 this idea of laziness, you campaign to become a governor. After becoming a governor, you will sit back and just be collecting money from federal government and be, and, be, and be squandering the money. No. Every state should have development plan on their own. You understand? So when you, when you when, I think, I believe the, 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 the I mean, uh, uh, creation of state was to make governors closer to the people and make, uh, I mean, the governor less coversome. You understand? Yeah. But now, it, 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 it's the other way around. It's the other way around. What we find is the states, at the end of the month, all of them will queue up. If, including those states that these resources and this money is being made from, they also queue up. It's an aberration for me to, to, to have so much resources. You will come and take it from me. I will not queue up. It's an aberration. To receive for, part for, of it. for a community to, 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 to install some transformer and uh, uh, I mean installation of and then I said those installations belong to the federal government. And when this installation gets damaged or sweat, the federal government will not come out. You know, it's an aberration hmm. to say uh, uh, education, from primary education is the responsibility, the responsibility of, of, of the federal, federal government. government. Okay. It's an aberration because they cannot get down to the people. Okay, I, I want to give uh, Justice uh, some quality time to, to, to tell us where, I mean, if you have the opportunity to work with a template, 
uh, you know, that government you use, you know, going forward. Now that we are beginning, it, it's, it's, it's as good as on the show we are saying, okay, the only way forward is restructuring. And you are privileged to, to, to work, you know, with a very, a, 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 I mean, with a document. Where will you start from? Not a document, sir. And I'm privileged to be there. Uh, that's what so I'm you, saying. I can't work. You see, I can't work with a, a document. I'm like, saying a template. I, I mean, something. Yeah, let me tell you. Let me tell you okay. the one thing. If I become the president tomorrow, or today, or any time, or see myself there, even in the National Assembly, the first and foremost thing I will do is the introduction and the movement of the Wonder Bill. I have said it in this platform before. I said it in other platform. But the problem is that many people do not really understand what I mean by Wonder Bill. Okay. Wonder Bill in operation will solve Nigerian problem. Okay. What is the Wonder Bill? There's no two ways about it. Okay. My association, which I'm the National President, Association for Good Governance, when late year Adua was there, we wrote to him. When Jonathan came in, we wrote to him. This administration, when they came in, we also wrote to them. But nobody seems to understand the line we are going. They are reading from a lot of if, other platforms. Yeah, that I know. But at least, that is why we are Nigerians. And that is why you have to spread your tentacles to look at certain issues. There's no two ways about it that there's an issue. If, for example, the management of this place now says we want to change the director of this place, there is a reason. Of course. And the reason is that they want an improvement. And the onus is on the new person that will come to improve on the standard of what he met there and not to go down. Mm. And by implication, are Your you saying there was a good standard? Uh, there, there was a good standard left by the outgoing. The standard we were before yes. was far much better than now. Oh, okay. I will not miss words to say it. And every right thinking Nigeria will say the same thing. No, somebody once said that everybody I, who benefited from the last government I said, preferred the, the administrative to me. style. The person of what is different is preferred as the administrative style. Is it obvious? What, what, what is your no, benefit? No, no, I'm coming. I find that benefit. Look at what I say. Because I look at what I'm saying. I said, I said, I said, my business flow is more during the last administration. I said, benefit. I didn't share what you said my word. I said, every right thinking. And there was no taxation. You were not being taxed no, 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 or necessarily. There, no, there was no structure in place. There was no structure in place. No, no, no. So no, your listen, business I flourished. No, because I agree. There was no taxation. There was taxation. There was taxation. Okay. In fact, it was even during that time I started paying. You see, let me tell you that we are all human beings. We're not stones. When you see what government is doing, you will be motivated to pay tax in order to support. Okay. Because that is part of your responsibility as a citizen. If you look at the constitution, if you look at the duties of a citizen. But today, many Nigerians are folding their hands, mm. crying and asking, what do we get in return? Because we submitted our rights and privileges to someone to manage for us. Okay. If you look at the history of the Leviathan going to jurisprudence, and that is how we now have people in authority. Because if all of us now say all of us wants to be there, there will be anarchy. There will be breakdown of law and order. Okay. But we submitted, trusting somebody, you can do this for us. Okay, 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 uh, Barrister. Now, th there's been regional mm -hmm. agitations. Yeah. I mean, there's been, obvi for obvious reasons. I think uh, in recent past, maybe it's only the Southwest that we have not really, really seen, uh, you know, an outburst of yeah. um, agitation, taking to the street and, you know, mm -hmm. causing a lot of uh, mayhem. But the truth is that in the East, we have a similitude. In the North, we have a similitude, and it's still very much ongoing. In the South-South, it has been prevailing. Yes. And, and to a very large extent, every, everything is culminating into asking for the country to be restructured. Yes. Now, I'm saying regional agitations does this in any way make the government to see it as a true picture of what the people are asking for. Don't forget that, or let us quickly remember, that even in, in a few, I mean, for a few days now, the story is beginning to change. The tone is beginning to change. 
We are not particular about the Republic of Biafra any longer, but we want restructuring. restructuring yes. You have been hearing things like that, that. If there is a restructuring, then we will draw Biafra. Yes. You know, and all of that. So you, you begin to wonder what exactly what people want. You begin to wonder what people want. So the restructuring we're talking about, is it going to be across our geopolitical divides? See, the restructuring, in, 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 in negotiation, you know, when I'm negotiating with you, mm -mm. for me to, to actually have, for instance... Substance three, to put on the table. I'll or something ask for equity. Uh, I'll okay. ask for 10. I'll be dragging for 10. Whereas, deep down between me and... I know I'm, it's 5 I want. It is 5 or 3 that, that I, can, I can get. But I ask for 10. So that is what is happening. When regions are speaking up and saying we want to secede, we want to be on our own because we believe we can be on our own, we can survive and all that. It has gotten to this boiling point. See, restructure. When you restructure Nigeria now, for instance, I, I, I agree with the school of thought that said, mm. that I agree with the local government autonomy. Mm. In fact, give more power to local government than states. And you think yes. the level of corruption in Nigeria, wait, the local government too, we not, we not. Ask we're me not. why. Ask me why. Yeah, yeah. In the local government, it's like an amalgamation of related people. They they almost know themselves. You understand? So the check checks and balances. The local government the close, are big. The, 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 the local government are big. No, 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 no. Okay. They are big, but the population of people, the people that are made of local government, they are not. It's not, it's not so much. You understand? So that is where the interest will now leave the federal government and the state, everybody will go home to go and develop your people because you know that the amount of resources are valuable to the local government such that to trace and to follow resources will be easier. Okay. To make leaders accountable will be easier. To checkmate leaders will be easier because... So is it because we have, we have not restructured, that's why states the, are, are, are actually oh, taking see, life out of the local the, government the, 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 the level as we speak? The because level, yesterday we were the on the show talking about... Which yeah? are some of our leaders have impoverished the people. And they continue to use peanuts to dangle on some of the few people. And because they are actually hungry and they need these things. Mm. Even when you are fighting for these same people, they will fight against you and say, leave Chema alone, our chairman, our leader. Where are these are the people that, that, that in the first place put the people in, the, in, that, in that position which they are. Mm. You understand? So, the, to restructure Nigeria will take it's, it needs to be holistic. Okay. What, what are the steps you need to take? One very, oh, important, we want to one very okay. important element yeah. that we are taking with levity is education. There is no education in Nigeria. There is no education, primary, secondary, even to tertiary. Do a study about, about student in the school these days. There is no education, and a nation that is not educated is doomed. No matter the idea you have, okay. if, okay. if you cannot, if you cannot that, articulate them. By it's justice. Uh, we, we don't have so, so much time. So we have to restructure so education, let, let restructure okay. every other, every other aspect me, of Nigeria. Let me tell you, let's, let's, let's get one thing right here. Okay. Let me analyze it and break it down. Nigeria, yeah, make it Ni fast. Nigeria is uh -huh. like uh, a, 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 a husband that married more than one wife. And in doing that, you have to at least treat every person with equal opportunity. And the moment you start being more particular about one person or two, mm -hmm. others will revolt. And two ways they will revolt. They will either ask for their own share, or they will tell you they are no longer interested, interested in, in the marrying marriage. you. That's it. That is exactly the situation we have in Nigeria. Now, today, <clears throat> because of some of these things, the government, if you look at what... Um, the acting president have done recently. He, he has been going about calling for peace talk exactly. and all the wrecks. And at this point in time, that is the only thing he can do. Because people are already angry. People are feeling marginalized. People are feeling, are we actually part of this government? Are we actually one Nigeria or not? And if we're one Nigeria, there are certain, give us a sense of belonging. Okay. Like I keep on telling people, what I have seen we lack in this country is uh, 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 sincerity of purpose. Okay. Because when you look at it, like I said before, for example, my own local government, where I came out from, from Imo State, we are called the food basket of Imo State. We produce rice, we produce yam and all that. But oh, today, those things are no okay. longer there. 
You, you can no longer hold any local government chairman accountable mm -hmm. because all the local government chairman has turned to errand boys to the governors. To the governors. Why? Because of the issue of joint accounts. Today, how many states in the Are federation... Are you fought in joint accounts? No, of course. I'm fought, state yes, I'm, for, I'm fought in it. Okay, okay. I'm fought in it. it. In fact, it is the height of corruption. Yes. In the first place, what is corruption? When we talk about corruption, people go to money. It's not money. That you stole money is not corruption. Former president, or, uh, <laughs> yes, I'm coming. Go no, 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 and convert it to your own use. It is what? Stealing. Okay. You can be arrested and chucked to court and made, to face, and made to face the law. Mm. But corruption is defined as any dishonest conduct. But you must have conceived, conceived dishonest before you steal. Mm. And that is why stealing now is there, obtaining under false pretense. That is why the law has provided that these things are criminal offenses. Is that uh, you? you, you well, are what I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Is not corruption. I, no, 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 I'm no, no, coming. No, no, I'm coming. I'm coming. I think, I think I, what listen to me. Uh, is that okay. still it does not does not encompass uh, corruption. Uh, corruption encompasses yeah, stealing the, the, and other things. The way we are analyzing this, uh, sure. and that is, is why, and that is why the government can never win this war on corruption. Okay. Ask me why? Because the conduct of the government, the conduct in your office. Is, is it, it right? Is even corrupt practices. Is, is it right or not? Mm -hmm. Having defined corruption as any dishonest conduct. We are they honest? The stakes, we are they honest? Or have they been honest in their conduct by taking allocations made for the local, uh, government. local governments and be giving them peanuts? Two, we are they honest by making sure that they do not conduct local government elections? Are mm -hmm. they honest? By appointing Katka committee chairman and all the rest. Mm -hmm. These are questions. Okay, now, 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 the gentlemen, we have okay. just less than a minute on the show. My, my, my concern, my concern before we leave is, is this. Regional agitation, is it the way to go? Is it the way to go to ask for restructuring? Because that is what is happening right now. Yes. It's, it's the right way yes, to go. Yes, it is the right way to All go. All regions should because revolt. when you don't ask for them, you, can, you yeah. cannot get it. All that one. Yeah. See. You are a father. My son You are is, a father. Don't, if, don't. Your, if your son can come to your room in the, early in the morning or midnight when you're sleeping and start banging the door to attract your attention, it is okay. The most important thing is that your attention... Your, your attention will be attracted, that's it. If, your son, if you want to go out in the morning and your son will say, that you're not going anywhere until you give him my school fees, it is okay. It's okay. Is your, is your son, you are the father. You have responsibility to, to provide for him. It is better, so it is is better to, to be structured now. But Before events, we out, outsmart the need for restructuring. The moment we you understand? Because, because if you make restructuring impossible, only, you are making violent change. And not only restructuring, you are more tension. And not, and not only restructuring, it. with sincerity of purpose. To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.